Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight, we have Triumph. Uh, more specifically, we're going to be looking at Rick Emmett singing and playing, obviously. Uh, this is going to be from 1987. So uh, let's have a little look at Rick and see how he gets on playing Lay It on the Line. <laughs> Straight away you can see here really clean tone, really understated start to the song and this is one of those common themes that you might be starting to um, understand or maybe experience with the videos that I'm doing is that um, there's something called a crescendo which is when you start off quietly and then you get louder and louder and uh, it kind of gives your performance more emotion but um, a lot of really top players and top bands understand this and really get it down to a T so that they start really small um, and then let that sound expand but let's uh, get back, back to the performance the same old story I'm just going to stop it there because I always say about guitarists that sing, um, when you're singing and you kind of play guitar as well, it kind of doubles the difficulty of everything because um, you have to now practice vocals as well as playing guitar rather than just being able to lock yourself away in your room and just really nail down playing guitar. And um, yeah, this is one of those situations um, where Rick's voice, I would say, stands up as a lead vocal for someone who didn't even play guitar. Um, so you'll get rock bands in the past who have just had a designated frontman um, who doesn't kind of play an instrument but just sings and that is their instrument, is their voice. Um, but yeah, Rick's voice, I mean his range is insane and his control and everything about his voice is like a lead vocalist who only does lead vocals and has just been working on their voice for their whole life. Um, so the fact that he's a great guitarist and has these great vocals is really impressive. Listen to those harmonies as well, like really impressive. And there's some serious range going on here.
So at this point, um, in terms of analyzing stuff, I mean, there's some really tight playing going on here. The whole rhythm section's really solid. Um, a quick shout out to Gilmore, um, obviously. Um, and yeah, you know, being a three piece, I think they've got um, an extra guitar in there just to help thicken out the sound. Um, but yeah, Mike Levine as well, quick shout out to him. Um, but Triumph make a really great sound, um, even when it's just kind of the three of them. So really cool stuff here. And getting to this point of the video, so far, vocally, it's just an amazing performance, even before even looking at any guitar playing. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, just kind of hitting those screeching high notes, really impressive. Um, it's, it sounds like to me that Rick's got that kind of perfect vocal technique where um, he just kind of um, drifts into that head voice, um, kind of the upper part of his range, where a lot of other singers have to push. And it's almost like it's um, a fight between them and their voice box uh, and their vocal cords to get up to notes. Um, but the really great singers um, just kind of flow up to these notes. It just sounds like that they can sing it endlessly all night. Um, so he's got really amazing vocal technique as well as having some like seriously cool guitar chops as well. Um, but anyway, thanks for the suggestion uh, for this video uh, to have a little look at Triumph um, and Rick in particular. Uh, but keep those suggestions coming in the comments below. I'll put the link to this in the description so you can watch it if you want to. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Rock.